Hello everyone, in this video tutorial I'll be showing you how you can merge an STL file within your Simplon project. This involves the optical module. So first off you'll open up your patient scan and you do a segmentation of the upper arch. It's important that you do a segmentation of the upper arch and create a 3D object making sure everything's nice and clean so that when you come to import the STL file you've got a clean surface and the option to actually merge the STL file. Once you've created a segmentation, you can click on prepare for planning and load the optical scan wizard. If you've not done segmentation and you're not sure how, please view the video tutorials on how to do a segmentation, a basic segmentations with scatter cleanup on a partially dangerous case. Once we've done our segmentation, you click on optical scan wizard. If you know where the file has come from, you please select it from here. And then you would need to find the location of where that STL file is stored. Now, in this particular folder, I've got three different variety of STL files. Now, the first scan you always import is the file without any wax up. It is the patient situation on the day of surgery. So if there's any extractions on the day that's going to happen before placing this surgical stent on top, you need to simulate that on the actual um, STL file. If you're not able to virtually extract the tooth, it's best to actually get study cost models poured up and cut the tooth off at gum level and then rescan the model again in STL format. That particular model itself is what we're going to use for the guide production. So it's quite important that you merge this one first or you bring this one into the project first. Click on that and then click on open. Now if the laboratory's done a study cast uh, wax up, a diagnostic model wax up, they can merge it onto the actual STL file of the original study cast, which is the one that you see here. And uh, if they can merge it for you and then export the files, they are overlapping each other already, so you can actually uh, import multiple files at one time. So if I was to import plaster model with the phys physical wax up, click on that and then click on open and you'll see that they are both overlapping each other. If not, if they've not merged the two together before exporting, you would just have to do the merging on one model at a time. So the first one would be the study cost. Then you complete this process and then you go to the optical scan wizard again and then merge that separately and then again any other files on top of that. So here we've got two overlapping files, which is what we want, and we're going to click on next. Now on the left hand side this will be your CBCT file and on the right hand side is what will be your study cost model. Notice that you cannot use anything other than the teeth because in both images you've got the teeth present but on the left you've just got bone and on the right you've got tissue. They do not match each other so you cannot use anything else. Now if there's less teeth present um, it makes things a bit difficult and especially if it's all in one segment because you're creating a pivot point uh, lingually buckly. Um, but if you've got an extended arch scan, that will increase the chances of a successful merge. Now, pick characteristics or edges that you could find in both scans, in both images, left and right. And uh, avoid round, flat surfaces, because that doesn't give you a true point of where you'd need to click. So for this instance, I'll click on this little incisal edge here. And let's have a look. I can see a wear facet on the canine, so I'll click on the canine. Wear facet on both images. So the first point's always on the left, and then the same position, click on the image on the right, and then go back to the left image to click on your next point. So I would say it would be this one over here, and then in that same position, click on the image on the right for my third point. Once you've added all three points, click on next, and then you can cross check to see if the merge was successful. So to check this, you would look for the outline of the study cast model, which is this brown line over here, 
and that will outline the CBCT file, the teeth on the CBCT file. So I can see that perfectly aligned. And if I'm scrolling through, you'd see how it follows through very well. So I know that this is successfully merged. You can even double check this on the top image. Okay, I can see that's nicely merged here. So all I need to do now is click on finish. If you do need to uh, adjust the positions, you've got the translate tool and the rotate tool. So the translate moves the object or the steady cast model left, right, up, down, depending on which button you're holding on to. And then the rotate button, if you click on that, you'll get your rotation icons and you can just rotate it as and where you need it. Okay. If you're happy with the positioning, you can click on finish. So now that the file is now merged, you can see it clearly here. However, you do not see the diagnostic wax up. You'd only see the contour of the study cast, which is the first file that we've imported. If you want to see the contour of the wax up, you just click on the region of where you know the wax up would be. And then you right click on the second STL file done here at the bottom, which is the wax up, and click on show contour. This will give you the outline of the wax up, so now you've got your prosthetic envelope of where to place your implants. This completes the video tutorial on how to import STL files within your project using the Optical Scan Wizard. Thank you very much.